Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my client Maria. Normally I do little skits or videos or whatever the hell you want to call them on Instagram. But she fucking cut her natural nails. So her natural nails were about this length or maybe just like a tad bit shorter. And so we did her acrylic overlays but today she went wild and cut them off or whatever. So... In a way, I was like, you know what, girl? Let's just record this for YouTube. Um, She let me freestyle her nails. For the most part, she always lets me freestyle. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, I recorded this video with my iPhone. So the, the quality, I mean, let's see what it's like. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this quality of video. Um, I think my last video that I recorded... um. I forgot what I did, if I did my nails or somebody else's nails, but they were on my Android. Um, so let me know again in the comments if you guys like this video quality. Um, I have not sped anything whatsoever. This was real live application. So normally Maria, she gives me a little budget for her nails. And um, she lets me freestyle because... She's normally super, super basic, like one color and a finger with glitter, and that's it, if she even gets glitter. But lately, she's been a little bit more adventurous, and um, so for the holidays is when she lets me, like, do her little freestyle so she could get a little design. And um, so I asked my followers on TikTok, because I was on TikTok Live yesterday, um, during my lunch break and I was like, what color should I do on Maria? She's already had a bunch of red. She just had pink. So we decided that we were going to do her purple. So the products that I am using today, this purple is from Vanessa's Nails. Again, whenever I do nails at the salon, um, I have a wide variety of colors, acrylics from all kinds of brands that I've purchased. And when I do nails in my house, I only have Zule products because I don't want to go back and forth because my dumbass will forget shit. So this one, I believe, was called Lavender or Purple, um, Pastel Purple or something like that. Um, I have Vanessa Nails full collection. Well, maybe not all of them anymore because she's added a lot. Um, but before, like during the quarantine i believe is when i bought a whole collection so i have at least 80 colors of hers i love it i love it i love to support my female own um product line so yeah that's a the purple that i'm using and then i'm also going to be using a, a transparent purple from valentino that one i do not remember what it's called but it's purple something I, I don't know. It's new. So that's why I can't remember the name. This is my second time using it. But literally, it's just like a transparent purple. You guys will see. I decided to put it over the the pastel purple to give it a little bit more purple vibes. And also, instead of just like putting clear, I was like, hey, well, let me put this little transparent purple. Like, why not? So that's what I decided to do. You know, I'd be experimenting on my clients, especially when they let me freestyle. I'm like, hmm. Let me try this. Let's see what it's going to look like or whatever. And then the nude color, that one, I want to say was, what fucking color did I use? Classic nude. Yeah, I'm almost positive it was classic nude. I don't remember, to be honest, what nude I used. But I tried to use one that was not too pink, too purple, I mean, too brown. So this color right here is not clear. This is a transparent purple. And so I really like my collection at the salon because I have like all kinds of shades. Like I have a million purples and they're all different shades. So I was trying to think like, okay, I'm going to do her some purple nails with these pretty, oh my God, pretty little candies. Like I don't want to put one that's too light, like super pastel pastel because I feel like that's more Easter. And Easter is around the corner, but I wanted more lavender. Ooh, who's here? Who the fuck is here? So for the middle finger, I decided to do her an ombre. 
And normally for short eyes nails, I struggle to do ombres with certain colors. Well, not really, but when I started, I did kind of struggle a little bit. And so I like to do the ombres halfway down the nail. And then since I was already using this transparent purple, I was like, well, let me use it on this nail too, just in case it does change the tone. It it won't look like a complete different purple. So you guys will see me right now applying a little bit of, of the transparent purple to the nail. And then I'm also going to use the same nude. Hmm, now I'm thinking, did I use, what fucking nude did I use? I don't remember what fucking nude. Because that doesn't look like classic nude. I have no idea. I don't know what I used. I just pulled out colors and that's what we were using. Hmm, I'm going to have to think. So right here, I'm applying that transparent purple and um, brushing it down to the nail. And then I'm going to go in with the nude color and do the ombre. And then the little glitter flakies that I'm using is also from Vanessa Nails. I don't remember the name either, but it was one of her little Mylar flick collection. Um, Glacier or something like that. I should have taken a picture of them, but... It was so late. She was my last client that I didn't really think of taking no pictures. I barely even thought of recording this video. So I had already done one hand. And so I was doing this other hand. Well, before I did this and I was like, oh, let me record. But we were in an odd position too because my table at the salon is not that big. So I don't have that much space to put my, my, um, my phone stand thing because it's so huge. Um, I use the one from Archon Mounds, the one for the table. And so it takes up some space. And um, yeah, that's what I was using. All right. So now that I did the ombre, for some reason, I keep getting tricked that this finger is the index finger. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Like, like you're tripping, you're tripping. So right here, I just decided that I'm going to add a little bit of flitter, just a little bit. You know, because we still want to see the purple and the nude and just a little flitter. Ain't hurt nobody. And then we're going to encapsulate that. Um, Because these nails are pretty short, you do not need a lot of product. Um, Let's see, hold on. You just need a little bit and, and voila, you're done. This set was so fucking easy. I was like, girl, girlfriend, why are you, why are you so easy? Oh, wait, hold on. This person ordered the same product twice. Oh, no, she didn't. Hmm. Sorry, guys. I'm over here trying to print some orders, but I'm noticing that this person did, like, five different transactions. Weird. Um. But, yeah. So, I'm just pressing down the acrylic, like, pushing it into place so that I have to do very minimal filing when it's time so that's the goal everyone when you are doing acrylic application you want to try to um apply it as perfect as you can um it does take time to get to that because for a few years i will watch youtube and be like damn how does she do it so perfect whatever not saying that i'm perfect whatsoever i am not i am not perfect but i feel like my application has definitely Came a long way, bitch. A long as way. And so, for the index finger, I was like, let me do her nails valentine but, but um, not too valentine. Where I'm going to put her like all kinds of fucking hearts and red and everything. So, let me know in the comments. Do you wear valentine nails? And if you do, what color is? do you like to wear for valentine are you your typical valentine that is pink and red or red or whatever or do you like to kind of experiment with colors like for example today we're doing a purple valentine what the hell who does that i feel like no i did a purple valentine last year um and i do apologize if you guys hear all this little clicking it's because i'm presetting the orders and we got a mountain task so I did a purple valentine. So what I was doing on this finger, um, because I was recording and I was in an awkward ass position, um, I felt like my acrylic ended up drying before I could stab in the little hearts. So just FYI for you guys, 
if you guys want to try this I'll, I'll probably do it on live so that i can show you guys but this is my method of applying these hearts um i apply a thin layer of the acrylic and while it's still wet i pick up the little figure candies so this one is the ones that i'm going to be using are available on my website i call them candy hearts or something like that and um hold on let me see Um, and then I just stab them in because if you try to glue them and all that shit, like, uh-uh, girl. It's like a whole ass pain in the ass. So to me, this is the best way for them to stick. So again, because I did that clear purple on the other nails, I felt like this was necessary on, on all the purple. So you guys will see me here struggling with these stupid ass hearts because I didn't realize that after the first hand that I did, um... I ran out of hearts so while I was taking them out the little box and I had the heater on and all of that my acrylic dried bitch and I was like girl motherfuckers motherfuckers stay in place they didn't want to listen I was getting stressed low-key it was stressful but if you guys do it how I told you from the beginning while it's away and you stab them in it was the best the best way to apply these hearts or anything in this material I believe they're called like females or something like that they're like little nail arts what I really like about these these this material of sorry my printer is going um this material is that if you even file it the design doesn't come off you're just filing it skinnier unless you like go in like ham fucking printer shut the fuck up if you guys go in ham filing then you'll file it out off but other than that you won't so yeah both of my printers are going off right now sorry hold on let me pause this all right, so we're here still struggling with these little hearts and I did not edit this video at all. It's like literally raw footage. I was like, so the way that I do record on my clients now, if I do is I'll pause it and I'll play it. I'll pause it and I'll play it because I don't have like a lot of memory. So I cannot be recording the whole fucking time that I'm doing the nails or I'm going to run out of memory and I'm only going to fucking get when I'm applying the nails and shit like that. So just in case you guys want to record or anything like that, um, that's a little tip that works for me. I pause and play like let's just say I'm going to glue the nail tips or whatever. I record that and then while I cut them or whatever, then I will pause it. And so right here, I decided because they were fucking falling already that I'm going to put a little bit of clear acrylic and hopefully it stays. Because at this point, these fucking hearts were sticking up already and they were driving me fucking nuts. I almost wanted to shave down the nail and do it again. But I was like, nah, honey, I need to fucking go home, bitch. And if I do this, it's going to take a long time. So because I knew that when you file these little thingies, it doesn't shave off the design. I was like, mm, girl, well, if I encapsulate it and I shave it down, maybe, maybe the little hearts will stay. And when in doubt, bling it out. You know, if I fuck it up, I could um bling it out if I messed it up. But it didn't get messed up. So that was a plus. I was like, yes, honey. So right here, I'm just encapsulating. I did do a lumpy ass nail, though. Like, girl, this nail was literally driving me nuts. Because I was like, oh my god, it doesn't fucking dry. It's not encapsulating like it's supposed to be. And I was like, oh my god. So, but yeah. At the end, it came out really, really nice. Hmm, what is this girl talking about? I'm sorry. So, Susana, Susana, girl, what you talking about? Willis? Willis, honey? Alright, let me respond to this girl because I don't know what she means in her note. Don't forget, if you guys are new, to subscribe to my channel. And if you guys are not fucking new, but you're not subscribing, girl, why the fuck not? Just subscribe already, like I say in every damn video. Honey, you're going to come back. You're going to come back. So might as well just join the family. We're trying to reach 100K. We trying to, my goal for 2023 is to... Um, get to a hundred k hopefully that's a little i think that's a little impossible 
unless i'm getting like a thousand subscribers a day but even then i don't fucking i mean a month or i don't know what the math would be but i want to try to see if i could get as close as i can to 100k so with that being said go subscribe <laughs> go subscribe please and also, I don't know if the likes really help, but like the, the video and then leave me a comment because I do enjoy reading the comments. So if you guys ever do leave me a comment and I don't respond, I apologize, but I will try to get back to the comments. Um, I do return to read them occasionally when, when I'm laying in bed and stuff like that. So tell the girl hi or tell me a funny story or something because y'all be so cute in the comments. I really like when you guys are like, oh, Zule, you, this, this, this. Or like you tell me something, you know, a little fact about you guys. I really enjoy that. We get into know each other. So for the thumb, I was running out of ideas because I didn't want to make this, this set too super decorated. Because like I said, Maria is very simple. She will have a panic attack if she is looking bedazzled or whatever so i had to keep that in mind when i'm doing freestyles for my clients um so the way that freestyles work is they give me a budget and then um i work with their budget okay so i also keep in mind my clients are not all the same so maria she likes simple so i try to spend her money on like um, what is it called? Like the ombre or the encapsulated, or if I could do her something 3D, simple but classy, but within her budget, and not a lot of bling because she don't like a lot of bling. But for her birthday, we're gonna fucking bling her out. So if you guys would like to see her birthday nails, her birthday is actually next month in March. I forgot what day exactly, but she already has her appointment, and she's like, "What are you gonna do for my birthday?" I was like, girl, we're going to bedazzle you. What you mean? And she looked at me like she was about to have a panic attack. But I'm like, bitch, you cannot fucking come here and get a freestyle on your birthday and not get bling, bitch. Bye. So I'm already warning her. She's going to have a little bit more bling than usual. So at the end of this appointment, she was saying she looked super blinged out. And I was like, girl, this is nothing. You only have like 10 blings. So if you guys want to see what her nails turned out looking like at the end, let me know what you think. Like, is this crazy or is she crazy? I want to know. I want to know who else is simple crazy. <laughs> so for the thumb, I did do two little hearts, an ombre, and a little flitter. Like, I tried to combine the middle finger and the index finger in one. And because, you know, because the thumb never really gets the love. So after I was done applying and the acrylic is all dry, I am filing the top of the nail with the extra fine bit. This bit is my favorite. It's available on my website. I will try to link it, but you guys already know that Zulay forgets all the time what she says. So if I don't, you can just go to the website, zulaysnails.bigcartel.com. And then go to um, bit category. And it's the one with the little yellow. So normally I hand file. But because the nails are already like. Oh, I'm, I don't want to say they're perfect. But they don't need a lot of filing. I skipped that. I just went in with the bit. And um, you guys. Oh no actually I didn't record that. Because my phone was dying. And I didn't want it to die before I was done. So I did shape them a little bit. She does like like um tapered square going to coffin almost. But because they're always really tiny, I struggle to get that shape. So that's why today I use some stiletto tips. I use the stiletto coffin tips on her so that I could get a slim square. But they do kind of look coffiny. So just in case you guys were wondering what the shape is that she's getting um, is like a square coffin. But yeah, so yes, Lenny, you want to say hi? You want to say hi to the YouTube? So yeah, I decided to do her some little sugar hearts at the end. And um, I'm using this gel polish. It's from the Shimmer Collection. Um, I just showed you guys the number, but I already forgot it because Lenny over here crying. And I'm going to be using my dotting tool to draw her a little heart. 
I did put her I did put her a little bit of a matte top coat at the base so that when I add the sugar, I'm going to be using purple sugar to the hearts. Um, it could stay like raw, like raw sugar effect. You guys will see. Um, but it did look super pretty just like this. I was like, girl, we don't even need to fucking put sugar, but we are. We still going to do it. Okay, let me just pause while the printer is going again. Let me know what you guys think of this set. It's so cute. And please excuse her crusty ass skin. <laughs> Maria is a little nail biter. So whenever she don't have nails, she really picks at her skin. This time I got mad at her because she didn't have like her skin like that for quite a while. But like I said, she took off her nails and like literally she took off her natural nails she cut them off and she came bare i had been doing her natural nails for a few months now and i was like why you do that honey um but yeah let me know what you guys think of this set um i'm gonna be adding a little bit of bling and that's about it um did you guys do your valentine day nails yet I'm going to be doing my nails today. I'm so excited. So if you guys are watching this on YouTube, well, of course, it's going to be on YouTube. Um, how are you guys liking my uploads? I've been on top of it. I've been going live so much. So I bring you guys more content. I need to slow my ass. Like, I know I had said before, like, oh, I'm not going to go live that much. But to be honest, I really enjoy it. I really like doing nails and hanging out. So maybe maybe i'm not gonna be gone and just kidding no, i don't think i could ever disappear like that but um whenever i go live it's so much easier for me to upload it later on my youtube channel because you know the lady i'm gonna edit anything and for those of you guys who have been waiting for my birthday nails i'm sorry there's at least three videos that i have not uploaded because i have to edit them so I do apologize in advance if you guys are waiting for that. But girl, I don't know when when that's going to happen because Zule is lazy. I'm just kidding. I'm not lazy. But look at this fucking plate of bitch. It's so fucking pretty. I was like, hopefully the camera captures how beautiful the sugar is because girl, it is. I think because of this glitter, I started to like um. I started to like purple. I'm not a purple fan. I'm all about the pink. But bitch, this shit is beautiful. So after you um, put it on the nail, you're going to cure it. I didn't really show that. But she did cure it for a whole minute. Oh, I'm so sorry. She did cure it for a whole minute. And then I removed the excess with a manicure brush. And how to call it. Actually, I don't, I don't think I had removed it yet. And then I'm just going to add her a little bling. When she saw me pull on my bling box, she was like, hey, kill me. <laughs> but I was like, eh, 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 shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Nah, just kidding. Nah, I do treat my clients like that. They know I'm joking with them, though. Like, I cuss at them and shit. Like, hey, bitch, you fucking said freestyle now. You know, they like it. They like when the las maltrate. So on the pinky nail, I did put a little bit too much glue, which I should have removed. But I was like, eh. Well, actually, I did kind of remove it a little bit right there. I was like, I'm going to bling on her whole fucking pinky. But then I was like, nah, because the purple is so pretty. I still want it to pop through the sides. And I did notice that I had this beautiful purple. I think it's um purple delight or something like that. Like neon purple delight or something like that from Swarovski. And then the other ones is a crystal AB. I don't really have a lot of purple crystals. So I was like, I'm just going to put her a little bit so that the main focus will be the rest of her nail design. So that's going to be everything. We're just going to add a little bit of bling to the pinky, a little bit to the middle finger, and then just a few to the thumb because, again, these nails are hella short and... Just even putting three little crystals is like, it already took up on the whole nail, like, honey. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a beautiful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Because Zule be sad that I only get like two likes. Eh, just kidding. Um, But yeah, 
have a beautiful day and i'll leave you guys with the last little finger um buenas noches hey just kidding and don't forget to subscribe to my i mean the fuck go on my tiktok follow me on tiktok and if you guys are not subscribed on my tiktok we do have like subscriber only chats sometimes and emotes that you guys can participate with they're pretty funny so make sure to do that and i'll see you guys on my next video um have a nice weekend because this will probably be friday when i upload this today is thursday so hopefully it's up by tomorrow bye everyone